These are devotions for people at a social distance. We are now in Holy Week, of course, and uh, the logic of Holy Week is all focused on one thing, and that is the message of the cross. And the message of the cross is a troubling and difficult message. I was reading this morning in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, for the message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The cross is about death. It's about uh, humiliation. It is about submission. And it's about losing. It's about losing as the world understands winning and losing. And and of course, that's foolishness. The, the world that we're living in every day is constantly telling us that, that that is the ultimate foolishness, to give in to death, to give in to suffering. Um, and yet, that is the message of this week, and that is the message of the cross. I also read this morning from John chapter 12, verse 24. Jesus is speaking, and he says, Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains as just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. And while it's not necessarily a perfect uh, biological explanation of how uh, seeds actually work, obviously a seed <laughs> remains alive when you put it in the ground, and that's what causes the growth. But in, for all intents and purposes, that's what it looks like. You're burying something, it is dead, and yet, uh, you know, a few days, weeks, whatever later, as the spring uh, begins to, to, to grow around us, we see new life springing forth out of death. And uh, that is foolishness as far as the world is. Uh, we don't give up. We don't. We cling to, to life. We cling to whatever sense of victory that we think the world can give us. And, and yet Jesus says the way of success, the way of life is to go through death. And, and I ultimately believe that we will never advance. Uh, you know, whether we're talking as individuals or corporately as the church, or sometimes even as the community at large, we will never advance to the next step in our life unless we die to something, unless we give up to death and, and struggle with it, uh, uh, giving it up so that we can embrace something new. And that's what Jesus is saying. Uh, if we're going to see renewal, if we're going to see new beginnings, we have to pass through the shadow of death. And I think that's a message, obviously, very much for today and where we are. Uh, we are living through a time of great fear and anxiety and of sickness and of death. And it is hard to see this as anything but, you know, disaster, which of course it is. Anything but grief, which of course it is for those who suffer losses but it's also a place where new hope and new beginnings come from. And we also need to be open to that. And that is the message of the cross. And yes, it is foolishness as far as the world is concerned. Lord, we need the message of the cross this year. We need it perhaps more than ever. We pray that the foolishness of the cross might challenge the wisdom of the world this week. Amen.